Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we found the shear capacity of the concrete to be 259. We now need to find the shear capacity of the steel. This is given in clause 8.2.10a. So 8.2.10a, we have a formula for the um, shear reinforcement. This is for perpendicular. We're not doing inclined. So the formula is there. I've just rewritten it nice and big over here. Now subbing in each of the components. The area of steel um, in shear, we said in the beginning, was the two N12 bars, which was 226 millimeters squared. The yield stress of steel is 500 MPa. D naught, we found in the previous video, to be 597. So D naught was 597. Um, S is the spacing. We're doing this again for 300 mils. So the whole point of this part, part two, is finding the shear capacity for maximum spacing, 300 mils. And theta V is just 45 degrees. It's just taken straight from this part. Theta V is 45 degrees part one. We're not doing part two. We're not looking at that. It's this one here, 45 degrees. So if we were to solve this, uh, we would get an answer of 225 kilonewtons. Now, we need to check this against our design capacity. So phi VU equals phi outside of VUC plus VUS, which needs to be greater than V star, our design capacity. Now, phi we said was 0.7, VUC is 259, and VUS is 225, so subbing those values in. That needs to be bigger than 660. I get the 660 from our shear envelope. 660 is the biggest shear. Now, this is negative and positive, it doesn't really matter. We just take the absolute value. So we're looking at the highest shear is 660, we experience. So we need to ensure this is greater than 660. Solving this, we get 339, which is not greater than 660, okay? So now what we do is, everywhere up to 339, we are it's adequate to use the 300 mil spacing, okay? So if I come to our shear envelope, so we've got a value of 339, okay? So 339, so if this is 660, that's 434, that's 238. 339 is somewhere there, say, okay? So that is 5VU, which equals 330.